hi we are from at home tuition in this video we are going to see how to draw a pie chart from the given information with few examples first question is draw a pie chart for the given data below so the data is the time spent by a child during a day so the activity done by the child during the whole day is given that is sleep it spends eight hours school work it spends six hours homework four hours then time spent for playing is 4 hours and others time spent is 2 hours. So this is in a day. So if you add all these things, we will get 24 hours. That is in a day. So now solution. Now let us represent this data in a pie chart by considering the following steps. So to draw a circle graph, first we have to draw a circle of any radius. Okay, And then we have to draw different angle of sectors based on the different activity given. So first we have drawn a circle, we know that total angle at the center of a circle is 360 degree. Then we want to split the 360 degree into different angles. So that angle we have to decide based on the given information. That angle we will call it as central angle. So the central angle of the sector will be fraction of 360 degree. So how to find that central angle is, we have to find the different fractions for the given data and we have to take the fraction of 360 degree. So to find the angle of sector, we want to find the fraction of the given information first. So now then the central angle is equal to the fraction what we were found into 360 degrees. So to find the fraction we have to consider the time spent in a whole day for different activities. Now we will see how to find the fraction. So the fraction for given activity is time spent for each activity in hours. That is its unit is hours divided by one day in a total day. So one day we have that 24 hours. So we will see for each activity. So time spent for sleep, its given number of hours is 8. So in fractions we can take it as 8 divided by 24 that is 1 by 3. So the central angle you know the time that is fraction into 360 degree. So 1 by 3 of 360 degree equal to 120 degree. Similarly time spent in school is 6 hours. So if you want to convert the 6 hours into fraction so 6 divided by 24 that is 1 divided by 4. So central angle is 1 by 4 of 360 degree that is 1 by 4 into 360 degree that is 90 degree angle. The next given activity is time spent on homework that is 4 hours. So fraction is 4 divided by 24 that is 1 by 6. To find the central angle 1 by 6 of 360 degree that is 1 by 6 into 360 degree that is 60 degree. Similarly, the time spent on play, playing is also 4 hours. So, we know that the central angle is 1 by 6 of 360 degree that is 60 degree. So, the next activity is others they have given. The time spent for other activities is 2 hours. So, fraction is 2 divided by 24 that is 1 by 12. So, to find the central angle 1 by 12 of 360 degree that is 30 degree. Now we have found out all the central angles. Now we will make a table like this so that it will be easy for us to draw the pie chart. So now I have made a table with activity time spent in hours in fractions. I have converted this activity into fraction first. Then I have found out the central angle. We know that we have used the formula fraction into 360 degree. Okay, That you will give the value of central angle. So now as we have done, I have marked all the things in the table. So sleep, school, homework, play and other so the activities done by a child. So if you add all these central angle you will get 360 degree. Okay. So now this is the total angle of the circle. Now let us see how to draw a pie chart from the given information after forming the table. So first step we have to draw a circle with O as center and A as radius. We can choose any radius. Okay. Then the next step we want to consider this table first. So it's given for sleep, it's 120 degree. So now with the help of a protractor, we have to mark angle A, O, B as 120 degree. So it's given here. So first we have marked 120 degree, that's against sleep. Then similarly, we have to continue marking all the other items. Then the time spent in school, it's given. So we have calculated the degree for that, it's 90 degree. So using protractor, we have to mark the angle B, O, C with 90 degree angle. So that represents the time spent in school. Next, with angle C, O, D, we have to mark 60 degree using protractor. That measures the time spent for homework. 
then again 60 degree that gives the measure of time spent for playing that represents the angle DOE. The next the remaining angle if you measure you should get 30 degree okay so that is EOA is 30 degree that's time spent on other activities. So this is the way to draw the pie chart. Next question is a group of 360 people were asked to vote for their favorite season from the three seasons rainy, winter and summer. So the for table is given seasons, number of votes, season is summer, 90 people voted rainy, 120 people voted winter, 150 people voted. So the questions are asked are which season got the most votes, find the central angle of each sector, draw a pie chart to show this information. Now we will see the first question. So first question is which season got the most votes. So if you analyze the table, you know that it's given number of votes are 190, 120 and 150. So 150 is the maximum value and which is against the winter season. So thus we can say that the winter season got the most votes. Next question is find the central angle of each sector. So the central angle of each sector will be a fraction of 360 degree because the total angle of the circle is 360 degree. So the central angle of the sector will be a fraction of 360 degree. This fraction depends upon the value given in the table. So now we will see how to find this fraction. So the fraction is vote against each season divided by total people voted. Okay. So we have three seasons. Now we will see the fraction for each season to find the central angle. So the first season is summer, the number of people voted is 90 people and then totally there are 360 people. So to find the fraction 90 divided by the total people that is 360 which is equal to 1 by 4. Then our uh, question is we have to find the central angle. So the formula is fraction of 360 degree that is total angle of the circle. So fraction is 1 by 4 into 360 degree that is 90 degree. Then for next season, that's rainy season, number of people voted is 120. And to find the fraction for this 120, 120 divided by the total people, that's 360, you'll get 1 divided by 3. So the central angle is fraction of 360 degree. So 1 by 3 into 360 degree, that is 120 degree. The next season is winter. So the number of people voted for winter season is 150. So fraction is 150 divided by 360 that is 5 by 12. So the central angle is 5 divided by 12 into 360 degree that is 150 degree. So now the central angle of each sector is summer 90 degree, rainy 120 degree and winter 150 degree. Now next question is draw a pie chart to show this information. So now Let's represent this data in the pie chart. We have to consider the following steps. First, we have to draw a circle of any radius. Then we know that the total central angle of the circle is 360 degree. Then we have found out the fraction of that 360 degree for each season. Then we have to mark that each season on the graph. So now I have formed a table for our easy reference. Then I have drawn the pie chart like this. So first I have drawn a circle with center as O and marked the line OA. So with this OA, I have marked the point B with protractor for an angle of 90 degree that represents summer season. Next, with this OA, I have marked the line C that rep with an angle of 120 degree using protractor that represents rainy season. Similarly, the remaining will represent winter season that's 150 degree. If you measure with protractor, you should get 150 degree angle here. Hope you have understood all the questions well. Thank you for watching the video.